I love your red, white, and blue. And I like yours too, your bow tie. Do you know what's special about today? It is the 4th of July. It's Independence Day. How do you celebrate Independence Day? Um, I go to my cousins to celebrate and have a party. Did you do that yesterday or are you doing that today? Yeah, yesterday. yesterday. And you had a picnic. Did you do any fireworks? Yeah, lots of fireworks going off last night. We even went to some friends and they had some beautiful fireworks. Lots of colors, red, white, and blue. Um, a lot of people have picnics on the 4th. Um, parades. Did you go to a parade? No? I didn't either. But some people like parades. Two people behind you, they go to a parade every 4th of July. It goes right in front of their house. We were lucky to be invited one year. We're going to hope to come back soon, too. Um, so Independence Day is a big holiday. We celebrate it. Do you know what independence means? Just the word independence. Freedom. Good student. She's an A student. It means freedom. So freedom from a lot of choices we have in our life. So we have freedom in coming to church today. We can worship the God that we want to worship. Freedom in what you want to be when you grow up. Kind of profession you want to go into. Freedoms and where you want to live someday. And a lot of our freedoms we didn't have long ago. Long time ago, we didn't have our freedoms. But people fought for us to be free. We had people in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force. I know Ken was in the Army. Was there anybody else that was a veteran or fought in the wars? John. So we, and Bob, so we have quite a few. So we need to thank them and be thankful on Independence Day because they fought for our freedoms. And a lot of people lost their lives fighting for our freedom. And another person that fought for our freedom, do you know who that was? Jesus. Jesus fought for our freedoms too, especially when it comes to our sins. Um, we make mistakes, we may have a sin, but God made it so that we're forgiven and we'll have eternal life someday. And so on Independence Day, I want you to think of two things and be thankful for. People who fought for our freedoms here in America and Jesus. So we need to thank both of them. All right, let's say a little prayer. Please bow your heads while we say a little prayer. Dear God, thank you for the freedom that we enjoy in our country. We're thankful for those who paid the price for that freedom. But even more important, we thank you for the freedom we have because Jesus was willing to pay the penalty for our sins. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I brought a little firecracker to share with you. <laughs>